Hey, God bless you, this pastor here. So we've come to the end of our conversation on resolving the conflict between the spirit and the soul. I want to wrap it up with this exciting one. So the question on the table is, does God decide who I marry or I get to decide who I marry? Does God decide who I marry or I decide who I marry? All right. So there are four principles that governs this particular question. Two of them is God's responsibility and two of them is kind of your responsibility. So let's begin with God's responsibility. So the first thing that God does in who you marry is what we call the authority voice of God. God reserves the right and the authority to decide how you marry because marriage belongs to God. So he decides how you marry. It's called the authority voice in your marriage. So he says, husband, love your wife, wife, submit, and all of the things. So God created marriage. It's, it's not man-made, it's God's idea. So he decides how you marry. You cannot do it your way like the world is doing it lately. All right. The second one that goes on God's side is that God can only come in who you marry only by invitation. If you see anybody God has helped in choosing a life partner, the person invited God into it. And when God comes in, he doesn't find a wife for you, but he helps you find a wife. Did you get that? The first role God plays is that he decides how you marry because marriage belongs to him. And two, he doesn't decide who you marry, but he comes in purely by invitation. In other words, if you don't invite him, he would not come in to help you choose who you marry because that area is purely your will. Now let's talk about you. There are two things you are also responsible for. The first one is that you are responsible to be of a sound mind with no external influence to say, I want to marry. Marriage is possible only if you opt in it's a choice you make with a sound mind you shouldn't be under any pressure you shouldn't be under any family pressure social pressure marriage should be just like you write your will and testament it must be with a sound mind no external influences just you saying that i want to do it that's how god has instituted if you say i don't want to nobody can make you marry not even god so God has made it that it is purely by your free will that you get married. So the first thing on your plate is that you must say, I want to get married. Not because my mom says so, not because my peer pressure is pushing me, not because of my biological clock, but I have thought about it and I want to do it. That is the only grounds for your marriage. A second responsibility on your end is that you must request the yes from another person. You cannot marry unless somebody also freely wants to marry you. That's why I keep saying, don't ask people, when are you going to get married? Because the power to be married is not in your hands. You can't be married unless somebody says yes to you. Do you understand that? So those are the four rules that governs marriage. God decides the how. God can be invited in the who, the search and you must be willing and freely with no external influence say i want to marry and lastly the last person that decides who you marry is the person who say yes to you so there's no preordained wife you are not born with a special wife you follow through the same protocol gosh decides how the marriage is done you decide who you want to go for and you decide if you want to invite god in the search or you want to use Google search, you want to use a dating app, that is your choice. Again, anybody God has helped, the person got helped by inviting God into it. And lastly, you must have a sound mind to say, I want to marry, not by any external pressure. And finally, the person that decides who you marry is the who that says yes to you. I hope it makes sense. Don't spiritualize it. Listen to these principles and you will make a safe decision. You decide who, God decides how. If you want him to help you in the who, you got to invite him in. But with that said, God will not violate anybody's will to give that person to you as a wife. God will say it. You will have to agree. 
and the other person will have to agree before marriage can happen. I hope you make sense. All right, God bless you.